Hi, today we're going to be making some uh, pickled white bass from the white bass I caught at Utah Lake a few weeks ago. And I'm going to be following the pickled pike recipe in the Meat Eater Fish and Game cookbook. You should definitely check out that cookbook. All right, let's get started. We're going to start putting together the brine for the fish. Okay, we're going to start by adding one half cup of kosher salt. We're going to mix in three cups of warm water to that. And we'll whisk that up and let the salt dissolve completely. We'll clear a spot in the fridge and get that brine in there. Let it cool down. We've thawed out the fish. You always want to let it freeze for at least 48 hours. I've heard as long as about 72 hours or something like that. I gave it more than that. It's been froze for a week. We're going to cut it into bite-sized chunks. This is my first time pickling any kind of fish, so definitely a learning experience for me. All right, we've got our fish cut up into bite-sized chunks. We've got a little quart freezer bag I'm going to just plop that all into. This is the fillets of four average size white bass from Utah Lake. Okay, our brine is cooled. We'll just cover the fish. I think we'll cover it definitely liberally because we have that much brine. And get out as much of the air as possible and we'll leave that for 24 hours and come back tomorrow night and work on the next step this has been in the brine for 24 hours and now we're gonna drain that off and we'll replace it with vinegar Alright, now we'll pour in three cups of white vinegar, and then we'll set this in the fridge for 12 hours this time. So 24 in the brine, 12 in the vinegar. Alright, we're on the morning of the third day now. Um, the fish has been soaking for 12 hours in the fridge in white vinegar and it's time to make the pickling solution. Okay, we'll start by adding one cup of distilled white vinegar and one half cup warm water. And I pre-measured and mixed those in this measuring bowl. So both of those are in there. We'll add to that one half cup granulated sugar. A couple teaspoons of mustard seeds. We'll add one teaspoon multicolored peppercorns. Okay, and we'll move this over to the stove. Bring it to a low simmer and dissolve the sugar. All right, the sugar is pretty much dissolved. Okay, and we'll put that in the fridge. There we go. Give that probably about a half hour. Okay, our next step is to drain the fish in a colander. It turns like a different color. Like if you look at the fish, it looks almost cooked. All right, now all that's left to do is to pack the fish, the garlic, the onions, the lemons, a couple of bay leaves, and it said jalapenos or chili or dried chilies. I've got a few slices of my dried jalapeno, but I'm not going to add too many because I don't want it to be too spicy. We'll get started. Since there are three lemon slices, I think I'll try and do just like a third 
we'll start with about a third of the fish, maybe. Add a lemon, add a couple garlic, add a bunch of onion. Whoops. The best part is these onions will be pickled onions you can eat too. I think those will taste pretty good. Just a couple jalapeno pieces. And then we'll add some more fish. Forgot a bay leaf earlier. <laughs> Try and tuck him down. Over. And we'll top this thing off with some onion. I think we'll be able to get it all in there. You want to leave one inch of head space, so that's about from here to there. So we want to make sure it's in there good. All right, look at that. That looks good. Okay, and the final step is to pour in our pickling solution. It says to make sure to get all the mustard seed and peppercorns in there, um, even if there's not enough room for all the liquid. I'm not sure how I'll sort that out. Um, maybe I'll sort it out now. Drain some of this. Okay, we've got that. Kind of get some air bubbles out of there. And also pack things down a little better and get some of those seasonings down in there. I've got these handy dandy just plastic lids. Alright, so our jar of pickled white bass from Utah Lake is now ready to go in the fridge. In the video and thanks for subscribing see you next time i think i psyched myself out on that first bio oh okay Ooh, that hurts what i thought it would be yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah i think i think i'd make it again yeah i don't know that it was my favorite thing but i think i think we should be decent Alright! I thought it's gotta be the funniest shit ever. <laughs> it's a wee perch. <laughs> Let me check the time. Yeah.